All right, guys, welcome back. We are now on step 1612, which is all about creating word art objects. So we will need to access one of our previous data files for this lesson, which is your newsletter to document that you created. It should be in your lesson 16 folder. newsletter 2 which should be the document that you create created that has the columns and the borders and the shading of the titles so click at the top of your document we're going to add a, an official title using word art to make our newsletter look official so let's go make sure your insertion point is at the top because remember your insertion point determines where you insert so Click on insert and move down to your text group and find your word art button. Now notice that when you drop down on the button it gives you um, several different word art styles. When you click the button, um, find word art style 10. So just move your mouse until you get the um, screen tip that says word art style 10 and click notice you get a box where it says enter your text we are going to call this newsletter help news now you could change the font of your text you can change the size of your text you can bold it and do up and italicize your text but let's just go ahead and say okay so when you do that notice it um, <clears throat> it inserts your word art to your um, document. Again, just like all the other rules, it applies that in order to format your word art, you have to be in the word art. When I click, notice I have my word art tools with my format tab. When I click outside, it disappears. So click back in to select newsletter because we need our format tools. And the first thing we're, we will do is notice your move handles, your resizing hunt handles um, around your word art. Simply click, not click, but move your insertion point until you get your double headed arrow so you can click and drag your word art to the straight across to line up with um, the rest of your document to your 6.5 margin. Alright, and notice your word art extends across your whole um, page. The next thing we want to do is click on the shape field drop down and find an accent, a blue accent color that um, you want. That's too dark. I think that's perfect for me. All right, so we changed the shape fill color to match the newsletter. Um, the next thing we'll do is um, look at the shadow effects. So if you drop down on shadow effects and move your mouse, notice it gives you a preview of all the different shadow effects and what it will look like on your document. We just want to add a bit of an emphasis to our title. So why don't we select um, perspective shadow number six right here. Shadow style number six. And notice though when I selected a new shadow it extended the length of my title to go outside the margins, the 6.5 margin of my document. So I now I need to resize. No big deal. And drop down on chain shape and move your mouse over the chain shape. Notice it um, changes the shape of your of your um, word art. Find one that you like. 
think I like that one. And you may need, depending on which shadow you selected, you may need to adjust it a little bit. Make it a little taller. Move it in. Remember, it's all about editing and formatting your document. So that's really it, guys. We just learned how to spruce up our newsletter. Let me scroll in. Look at that. A nice, professional-looking document um, that looks like a newsletter by simply inserting word art to kind of spruce it up. So go ahead and save as newsletter three. And I will see you on the next step.